Welcome into Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham. If you're being sent over from our main Chat Sports YouTube channel, you know we are talking about the rumor that the Bears should draft Thaddeus Moss in the 2020 NFL Draft. If you're watching on our Bears Only channel for the first time, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Now, again, just to recap real quickly, fan side had said that Moss could, quote, fix the Bears' problems at tight end. Now, I'm not going that far, but we all know Chicago needs to upgrade at tight end. Literally some of the worst tight end production I have ever seen came from the Bears last season. Not a single player had 100 yards receiving. Now, as far as Thaddeus Moss goes, yeah, he's a name because he's Randy Moss's son. He's a national champion. He had a pretty good season last year. Good player. I wouldn't mind Chicago drafting him, but it's not like he's a first-round pick. In fact, there's probably not a single tight end that's going in the first round this year. 570 yards, four touchdowns. Of course, he is Randy Moss's son. He will get drafted somewhere in the middle part of the draft. I say round three. Uh, Bears don't have a third-round pick. Maybe they trade down from one of their second-round picks. He is certainly an option, uh, but regardless of what direction they go in, they have to upgrade at tight end. Should the Bears draft Thaddeus Moss? Type Y for yes, type N for no. For me, it's obviously when you can get him. I'm not drafting him in round two. Um, if you trade down, get him in round three, around, uh, I don't know, pick 85, pick 90. I'm down to do it. I would definitely draft Thaddeus Moss. I definitely think the Bears need to add a tight end or two, whether it's in free agency or in the draft. Now, while I don't love Thaddeus Moss, I do like him. I do love my fiance, which means I got to get her some flowers, which I've already done at Pro Flowers. Chatsports.com slash flowers. I've been to the doghouse before. Trust me, guys. 15% off. Pro Flowers is going to hook you up with flowers, cookies, whatever you want. Guys, you're running out of time. Friday is almost here. That is Valentine's Day. That's the link to go to. Go ahead and make your order. It's 15% off. Got to go to chatsports.com slash flowers. They will ship them to your significant other on Valentine's Day. They'll take care of all of it. Don't have to worry about it. Chatsports.com slash flowers. I mentioned the production, guys. It's some of the worst I've ever seen. My eyes bleed every time I look at it. It feels like someone poured acid right over my face. J.P. Holtz, of all people, led the team in 91 yards receiving. This has got to change in 2020. I don't know if Thad Moss is the answer, but I've got three guys that I think the Bears should target coming up in just a second in the NFL draft. But whoever it is, got to help this guy out, Mitchell Trubisky, a guy who we've talked about a lot here on Bears now. Uh, didn't have a great season last year. It's a big year in 2020, assuming he is indeed the starter. They keep saying he is. We'll see what happens with the quarterback carousel in the National Football League. But if Trubisky's the guy, got to get him a quarterback-friendly tight end. Bears don't have that right now. I'm sorry. I don't think Trey Burton is bouncing back to the level he once was. I mentioned this is our Bears-only channel. For some of you guys who are watching the first time, go ahead and subscribe. YouTube.com slash Bears. Now, let's get to 3,000 subs by March 1st. I think that's like 45 subscribers a day between now and then. It is leap year. you got an extra day, so uh, I expect us to get there. We'll have rumors, news, free agency targets, free agency rumors, draft targets, all kinds of stuff, including what we're doing today, tight end draft targets. We're going to do all of the positions between now and the NFL draft. Don't worry, just almost at 2,200 subscribers. Let's get to 3K by the end of February. All right, let's go through these three guys. I do have Thaddeus Moss on my list. I've got him at number three. Again, if you get him in the right part of the draft, I'm down for it, especially if he, uh, if he slides to round four. I definitely think you should consider trading up to get this guy. I think he's worth it. Now, the Bears might get that fourth-round comp pick. I don't think he'll fall that far late in the fourth round. But good player. He improved as the year went along. Uh, played his best in the two biggest games of the year for LSU in the college football playoff. You could get him in that mid to late round three range. I am down to draft Thaddeus Moss. Number two, I got Hunter Bryant. Now, he's not going to block more for, much for you. But he's an excellent receiving tight end. He's a mismatch nightmare. My guy Tom Downey says, think Evan Ingram when it comes to Hunter Bryant. That is what I like to hear. You got Allen Robinson and Hunter Bryant running up the seam. That's something I like to see. Maybe you draft or sign a receiver as well to help. You got Anthony Miller, Tariq Cohen out of the backfield, Montgomery. You get one more big-time weapon on this offense. It starts to round into form. You see the numbers, almost 16 yards a catch. 825 yards, just had three touchdowns, but I think he can be a better red zone threat in the NFL. Jacob Eason a little bit inconsistent this year at Washington, but I think he's the best receiving tight end in this draft. Like I said, though, not going to block much, so you would have to address that with maybe a veteran uh, in free agency. Maybe a Tyler Eifert comes in and helps you in that regard, but I would like to see Hunter Bryant running up the scene 
for Mitchell Trubisky. Now, what is the bigger need at tight end? Is it receiving or is it blocking? Obviously, you want a well-rounded tight end. Uh, hopefully, Bryant can improve as a blocker. He's an excellent receiver. Not a great blocker, though. Type R for receiving, type B for blocking. It's a tough call, right? Because the Bears' offensive line certainly was not very good this past season. Needed to improve, so you would like to get help at tight end. But if you can get a Hunter Bryant in the third round as a receiving tight end, that is certainly something that's going to be tough to turn down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Then the top guy here, we've talked about Cole Komet before. We had a mock draft cut up on the channel about three weeks ago. Tom Downey had Cole Komet going to the Bears at pick 43, I believe it was, with their first selection. He's the best well-rounded tight end in this draft. Now, he's not the receiver that Brian is, but he's a really good blocker, three-year player out of Notre Dame, played really well, improved dramatically as a receiver this year. His production went up 515 yards, 12 yards a catch. You see the touchdowns, too, six touchdowns. Now, he's not going to be a guy that's getting 35-yard passes up the seam like a Travis Kelsey or something like that, but he's well-rounded. He can help in the run game. He's good in that short to intermediate range as far as uh, as a receiver goes. I think he's a really, really solid player. None of these guys are elite. You look at all three of these guys, none of the tight ends in this draft are elite. It's not a strong class. It's somewhat of a deep class, like in the middle part of this draft, but you're not going to get a first-round talent at tight end in this draft. It's not going to happen. Now, can one of these guys help the Bears in 2020? I think so, especially after what we saw at the tight end position in 2019.